right. So, in my, uh, in my pursuit to have 10 million ongoing series, I am going to start out last. Because I feel like playing it. <laughs> Uh, we're going for all documents and uh, notes. Should I even attempt hard? Because I've already beaten the game once. What? I, you know what? No, because I don't know what it's going to change. Yeah, I'm just going to go. Well, I don't care. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphic sexual content, and strong language. I will make sure I try to avoid all of that graphic sexual content. Please enjoy your Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambitious ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on Earth. I was willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate. You will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can. Record everything. You are not a fighter to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth. Your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Let us begin. It's not a blind playthrough, but I don't know the story fully. So, hopefully the notes will... The notes and... Uh, documents will shed light on some things I don't understand. The Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said changing this stream is also a test to see if this laptop of mine can handle streaming anymore. Seminar on Avenue in Pueblo. So if it does end up lagging, I apologize. And next time, it will be much better. Park services will be spraying for an infestation of Glock's elder bugs. I also hope the balancing of the decking is perfect. Thank you for the follow, Total Gamer. And the host. Appreciate it. quick they might be monitoring i did two weeks of software consult at markov psychiatric systems facility in mount massive all sorts of ndas very much breaking right now but seriously f those guys terrible things happening there don't understand it don't believe half the things i saw doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep i have something that had been waiting for them in the mountains people are being hurt and markov's making money it needs to be exposed. Remember all the camera controls and everything, and have to remember to keep the camera up at all times. Whistleblower, I'll have to play myself first, or I, I want to play myself first, just to make sure. Uh, I remember hearing about there being, oh, right, okay. So, when I play this on my own, I didn't remember the left and right buttons. That was very annoying, I kept doing this. Hopefully I remember it. I'm not going to remember it. Anyway. Whistleblower. I remember hearing that there is a part that very much needs to be censored, so I need to make sure of that. And I'm never playing Outlast 2 because it's gross. Start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971, reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems. 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out more like a jammer than lost signal the Murkoff corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity but never on american soil 
Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Alright, so triangle. I really need to remember this is to reload the battery. Do not press that unless I must. Back down. Wait a second. Nope. That's one. Thank you for the follow. Uh, that's a lot of letters. YTQ. Thank you for the follow. And the host. Bonem. I don't know what that means. There's Zoom. I am never using that again because I'm going to forget about it. Escaping the okay, that's a square is what is this game? This is Outlast. I would say the second coming of amnesia, Dark Descent. scary horror game. Still makes me nervous no matter how many times I play it. Which I only think I've beaten it twice. Right. Uh, patient claims to have repressed the self during to lucid dream state. Virginic engine. Spearmetry revealed the whole. I'm not reading this out loud. No, this is not amnesia. I'm just this is this is it's it's Outlast, its own horror game series. I'm just saying this is because the second Outlast was, or not Outlast, the second Amnesia was kind of, eh. So it's like, this came out, it's like, oh, it's as scary as Amnesia. Stetson's mother's lawsuit against Murkoff and the Asylums represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims they discovered truth in the blood dreams of Dr. Traeger. Proved to include analytical biometrics. No, 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 the second coming. It's. Forget what I said. This is Outlast, the first one.
assuming this is like a spinal cord or something. Every time I see that, it's like, what really is that? No battery here, which is not great. So this can never get me again. <laughs> That's why I was like, okay, this might be a good organ. Played many married. horror games on YouTube. You can't. So fight yes. Them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors from security control. Yes, like the second coming of Craig. Game audio. The fuck out of this terrible place. everywhere blood burn marks heads lined up like bottles behind a bar dead murk off uh, scientists hung from the ceiling their badges say Murkoff advanced research systems Murkoff's long time and O has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity at the third world and bankroll another billion and Murkoff think they would make money off a building full of crazy people. Some kind of tactical cop pinned like a pig on a spit. Tells me to get the F out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could still leave the way I came. Everyone said this game was trash. Uh, no, not Outlast. No, 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 you must be thinking another game. I don't think so. This outlet, this game did very well. Yeah, well. Teach their own taste. Little fake. <laughs> <laughs> Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. How did it not? I'm not playing this blind. So this beginning part, I've played through many, many times, and then I get to a point and I'm like, eh, I don't want to play anymore, and then just not play it. This part, I remember... Once we go down those steps, that's when I get nervous. The steps behind this pillar right here. Back up. Uh, documents, so. Uh, matter of the seizure. 
catastrophic security failure of the psychi psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. This this stuff I never read when I played it. No notes, no documents. So this is all new to me. All to its agents. Hmm. Where I told you, you see on reddit said outlast is trash reddit that's all you had to say <laughs> it was bad <laughs> that's reddit slash twitter for you it's like okay and Many people have probably said it, but the general consens consensus is this game's really good. And more importantly, I say it's a very good game. Talk about this game. Always says it's trash because it was too scary. Well, that kind of... I. That's kind of... What this game's trying to do. So to call it trash for being too scary is that... I don't know. That's kind of weird. Minecraft is better than this. I guess, in some ways. Anyway, after the fighting mode, it's not safe to put the mess behind your home mode schedules. I didn't even get into the game yet. <laughs> it's interviewed in restraints. Walker. Oh, I love Walker. size build claims the skin ripped from his forehead allowed for a truer way of seeing seems to have some boyhood experience with Tatara lizards his flesh around his lips and nose Single serving in Afghanistan. Maybe retarding progression. The Emmy process. He's a military guy. That's why he's so scary. Point of the game. So those people are completely missing the point of horror games or is stupid. Exactly. Dead channel. They look like patients. 
is about whatever happened here, but nobody's home. So used to games having me press the L or R3 button to crouch. I'm gonna be turning on the uh turning on the night vision a lot by accident. And waste battery. guy on YouTube literally says, and I quote, so yeah, this game's terrible just because of how scary it got me. What's even a lore to this game, if it has any? Well, seeing as I've only started 9 minutes and 47 seconds ago, we must delve deeper to find out. All we know is this asylum is up to something. Did something. Get them out! Please! You got your insurance! Let them clean your family! This game is good. Well, can you provide any reason why it is? Well, seeing as how... This is a horror game. It's very scary. <laughs> the jump scares, ah, uh, fine, whatever. Second time through, it's predictable, but sneaking around this place is terrifying because it's very dark. And if you're really trying to not just run around and get caught, then it's... Very nerve-wracking, trying to sneak around. I remember when that last jump scare, you had to, like, wiggle out. But it was so difficult to do that they just removed it altogether. As I've said before, this is not my first tango with this game. I have played this before. I've played this specific part way more times. The jump scares aren't really going to get me unless there's one that I've forgotten. Which, after this point, yes, I have forgotten every jump scare past this point. I don't remember. Uh, already beat all to hell, picking broken glass out of my scalp. A couple cracked ribs, nearly killed by a deformed giant. Looks like somebody tried to F start his head with a cheese grater. He throws me through the, a wall, knocks me unconscious. I wake up, and some doughy old man with a face like an alcoholic kitty fiddler in a homemade priest outfit calls me his apostle. Not a job I asked for. There are words scrawled in blood everywhere. I'm getting an ugly feeling in my gut that the priest is writing them, and for my benefit. Yes, what Total Gamer said. <laughs> That you can play this again and trying to sneak your way around this place is still nerve-wracking. <clears throat> I'm getting nervous thinking about going down those stairs already. Okay, um... Broken Men in Television. Let me just make sure I'm... Not Massive Ass. I'm inside Broken Men, The Witness. This is lower. Small lighter. One seizures. Okay. Still got everything. Okay. One second. I will turn off the lights. There's one right there. Can't see me, but I'm gonna go do it. Be right back.
why would he even prove that if you don't got a camera? I don't have a face cam. And at the moment, I don't want a face cam. So sorry. Sirs, for pending no immediate action is required. Oh, potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. If you actually turn off the lights, what Total Gamer said. But I did. First of all, I don't have a camera. I also don't feel like it. particularly scared it's just I don't feel like having my face shown to the world right now probably ever I don't know nah you scared bruh all right you got me I'm spooked it's big effort stalking me found a patient file for a Chris Walker ex-military police several tours in Afghanistan a lot of blood in his places on his hands but not all of it One more document, and then we dive into hell. It's not my favorite game of all time. I just find it to be a really good horror game. Most hypnotic of the state before. The hypnotic state, but no further suggestion. Not 
hesitate to kill Jackson, failing to awaken. the stakes. What's your top five video games? Hmm. I don't know. I've played a lot of games. I can't really say so. Yeah, there's way too many. Okay, so... I'm going- no, 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 I don't want this closed, because I'm going to be fast here. So once I hit this... Persona 5 and 4, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, uh, horror games, At Dead of Night's really good, Song of Horrors is really good, really liked Resident Evil 7 and 8, uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 and 3. Where the hell is he? Well, there you go. There's more, but I can't think of any right now. I'm focused on this guy. But how are you gonna? How are you not gonna include Minecraft? Because I'm just, I just never really played Minecraft. <laughs> Okay, that's a dead bot. Oh. Don't go in there. Don't go in there, you, you piece of shit. Oh my god. Where are you going? Leaving now. Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? This is fine. <laughs> this. Do this. Come on. I'm going to do the little switcheroo on him. As long as he doesn't find me in this locker. I should have just got up and just went under the bed faster. Don't choose my locker. Later, bitch. Look 
Okay, that's that part done. <laughs> Why you got Roman in your name? Uh, it's Ronin. <laughs> Not Roman. Yo, I know a really good horror game you can play that recently came out. It's called Blood Wash. I hope you haven't played it yet. Uh, I've seen it. Are you an ancient Roman? Yes. I've seen the game. <laughs> Despite, I didn't want to have to. Despite playing horror games, though, I am a massive pussy. Not so yet. there are some horror games There's that so I just can't handle. For you to witness. Will you see it? Can you? Our Lord, the Wall Rider, tearing his truth into the unbelievers. The only way out of this place is the truth. Except night shift, night shift, night shift. All doors will open before you. I watch a lot of YouTube, so it's like I've probably seen Night Shift too. I really want to start playing, um... I want to finish Song of Horror. And I want to start playing Visage soon. Visage is terrifying to me, but I have to tough it out because it's a really good one. The priest Father Martin brought me here to show me something. Pardon me. Thinks I'm going to be a witness for whatever batshit crazy he's trying to sell me. This Dr. Warnick. He's at the center of whatever went wrong here, but he died more than 10 years ago. Rest in peace, says the blood on the wall. I ain't gonna lie to you. It's way more entertaining watching people play a horror game they've never seen before, because you never know what's coming. But since you've already played Atlas, there's nothing new for you. I know. But it's like... Alright, here's the thing with me in horror. Like I said, I am a huge pussy. And if I sat here and played on stream for the first time a game that I haven't seen and all of that, I won't be able to play it. I, I, I won't be able to progress because I'm way too scared. I, I, yeah. <laughs> I should try, though. I really should. But it's like... I know, and that's the entertaining, or is it entertaining to not progress at all? That wouldn't be... No, you can't look at me! Space! Alone! Leave me alone! So I get it, Total Gamer, it's just... It's, it's... Not the game, it's me. Oh, I promise, Night Shift really ain't that scary. Night Shift, Night Shift, why does that sound familiar? guys. I will not be putting on night vision for them. We give them a running start. There's an idea. And when we kill him, we kill him slow. Such patience. Puppet combo, yeah. <laughs> and liver, they are yours. Um, puppet combo. Puppet combo's on my list of I cannot play these games. You look like you Why would you goes. try and bait me like that? Puppet Combo's games are amazing, but it's... N it, I, mm. well, I Puppet Combo are y'all like some horror game enthusiasts? Sure. Puppet Combo is a indie developer. They make 
very retro style horror games. And they like to use a lot of loud noises during them. Like when something's starting to chase after you. It scares the bejesus out of me. Alright. I think for now. For now, I'm going to. I need to. I need to. I need to like change the screen for now. Because there's one thing I have to record for a note that. <laughs> Come on, give me the note. Okay, thank you. you weren't invited to this. There's one thing I don't want to get banned for. It's sick. You're sick. business with a corpse let's just say that let me just spell it out instead of showing it hey, you. Oh, I, uh, this game's kind of effed um Check it out. Now that I think about it, some of um, Puppet Combo stuff isn't as, like... Like, for example, the... Um, what is it? Drill Saw Massacre? Or... Dr not Drill. Like, the Power Drill Massacre. That's where it is. Yes, there was a reason for that, uh, which I've explained. <laughs> There was something I needed to record, but I didn't want to, or I couldn't show it. Oh, you. I didn't wait until I finished, oh, but I saved some for you. Wait. Oh, wait. I did spell it out, but. what out okay i'll say it one more time naughty business with a corpse there we go that's why i couldn't show it it's a damn video game it can't be that bad that twitch would ban you for it well no yeah yeah they would this place seriously just f this place dying keeps moving lower on the list of the worst things that could happen to me here that's the note from the thing that i had to uh record and i'm probably going to jail for it too if i ever show that to anybody info to contact the cancellation of the and i've seen people get banned for less worse things so don't 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 think Twitch wouldn't. <laughs> they ban people for accidentally showing nudity for any, a, a, a literal second. By accident. Because some troll decided they're going to show a video and then I visit with the course. I really have to put that effing image in my head well you kept saying a oh, dog uh, it's just a damn game you really have to put that or uh, 
<laughs> See? <laughs> Don't get on my case. This is your fault. I'll stay quiet. Check out what's in here. Alright, see you around. God, I forgot about you. <laughs> games that look like they were made in the past 20 years. I mean, people like that Retro feel. I think it looks interesting. That's what they're that's the that's the style they're going for. Yeah, the Power Drill Massacre and the Nun Massacre are two that I cannot play. I like you to stay away. Right now, you're never gonna get pussy while being a horror game nerd. Okay. That's a shame. But I guess that's just how it is. They think I'm just a nerd for horror games. Woof. Okay. Literally gonna do the same thing as long as he doesn't open this locker.
Doesn't look like it. Doctor. Oh, wait. I'd say we were more than there. Paragons of patience. Joe like in the suppression of our desires. Are you like 25 or something? Trust, but dog. Now, F horror games if you're trying to leave you know, all that virgin yes. shit. His tongue and his liver. Yours. Mine. Dude. <laughs> I don't give a shit. <laughs> don't worry about me, okay? They're in my blood if they want to get out. <clears throat> also, yes, how'd you know? Yeah, I'm 25. Twenty-six January. There's my document. Proper purge gate maintenance is crucial to Project Wall Rider. Security, please refer to Markov. Yeah. All right, bro. It's your life if you want to try and stay a virgin until fifty ain't my problem. That is correct. It's not your problem. any doc documents and notes so okay So I'd say I'm way bigger than just a horror game nerd. So I guess I'm just going to be a virgin for all eternity. Can't shake Chris Walker, the big ugly effer who th likes ripping off people's heads. I hear him muttering about security protocol containment. What if he's not the problem? What if he's trying to fix it? Are you the cool kid who had this dick stuffed in 30 vaginas by the time you were 12 or something? Probably. Sounds about right. to chapter three, but then I gotta go after that. Chill. 
also rather intense east. Heart failure due to advanced age. True and correct copy of the official records. I know it's gotta be so hostile, I'm just giving some friendly advice. Also, one more thing never, and I mean never, watch anime if you want to even listen you. only ever watched one is that fine or am i doomed to be a virgin in the afterlife too <laughs> shit <laughs> i'm lying two that's two afterlives now that i'm a virgin the door open. That would have sucked. Chris. Chris is the worst. Kidding me. Don't okay. Oh my god. How close is he? Okay, he's not that close. <laughs> Sounded so much closer. Only two enemy shit as long as you thought you had anything. Okay.
don't touch me. What's your servant? The dead will perform the living. I think I hit it. I'm like a 17, I guess. Five. Ah! Oh, I still have it. Still burning me. Um, this. No, this. Everybody shut up. I'm reading about Wernick. He's not pass away doing it in the work he loved. Germany achieved fame in the mathematic and scientific communities for paper written with the cloudy history of the German war. State Department, several decades of government research in Los Alamos, in Mexico. Leaves the scraps. They left them for so old now. Thank God I'm still 13. Okay, so I'm still good on notes, right? Eight. And then this is the obituary. Good, we're still good. Still one more note until the next chapter. Silky, please. Can we stop? No silky. Running an experiment here called Project Wall Rider, but the patients talk about the Wall Rider like it's a physical presence, spirit or demon, something they found in the mountains. I chalk it up to schizophrenic delusion, but I just saw something. Maybe, maybe it was a glitch in the camera. Maybe this place is getting to me. North Carolina. Shit. Really hope that big piece of shit doesn't show up here. I don't remember. Saving. This is chapter three, yeah? Yeah, basically. Kind of matters now, but I mean, if you did get it right, I wasn't gonna donate shit. How could you do this? Oh, shit, no! Okay. <laughs> I almost wasted a bloody uh, battery. So. All right. 
I'm leaving now. I got to go. This game still makes me so goddamn nervous. And it's just gonna get worse. And the damn sewers. Anyways. It's all for the stream. Wait, but how much money have you made off of streaming so far? If you haven't made at least 5,000, just quit right now. No. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, Total Gamer, thank you for letting me know that I'm doomed to be a virgin for life. YTQ. And, yeah, I'll see you when I see you.